Hi, welcome, welcome to What's, What's Up. Up. The patron bowl recently took action at the Singapore Turf Club. More of it in a short while. And if you're into the arts, be sure to catch this beautiful mural painting at 50 Racecourse Road, Little India. Horse racing was established along the Racecourse Road way back in the 1840s. With this historical background, a young artist has come up with an idea to collaborate his creative arts works and its heritage. This community arts project was jointly created by this young artist, a group of students and migrant workers. Singapore Turf Club was very proud to have sponsored this meaningful project. Let's take a look. One could have easily mistaken all these for a construction site and they would be surprised to know that this area would soon reveal a beautiful mural painting created by a young artist. Hi, my name is Jackson. I'm a visual artist. I'm 28 years old. I've been doing this for three years. So I do painting and also I do a bit of uh, a little bit of other things as well. So sometimes I do community art and also uh, some art installation and experimental stuff. Found out about this place, Race Course Road, while painting a mural for my friend's shop. Previously, I do not know anything about this place, so I find it rather interesting because uh, this place formerly was a race course used for horse racing. So I thought maybe I could come up with something that could share about this place so that more people would understand it and then the heritage will, will go on. The race course road has a long history of horse racing from 1842 to 1933. Fascinated by its history, Jackson approached the Singapore Turf Club with his mural painting idea and it was well received. So I got in touch with their marketing team so they are very enthusiastic about supporting this project so it was quite a smooth process when I applied for funding from them and then uh, they also gave me quite a few uh, tips about how I could make the visual stronger. The idea soon developed into a community arts project which involved two groups of communities namely the students from Raffles Institution and the migrant workers staying around the area. So one of them are students from Raffles Institution so I got them to come and learn a bit about painting as well as the heritage of the place. And then the next community that I work with is the uh, migrant workers staying and working around this area. And then it's also good for them to leave a mark so that they could uh, get a sense, um, grow a sense of identity to the place they stay in now. Although full support and funding were obtained from the various groups and organisations, there were also some challenges met along the way. One of the challenges is the erratic weather in Singapore. So when I plan for time to complete this uh, whole mural painting, I have to take into account the weather situation of Singapore. And then the next challenge is actually the uh, scaffolding. Scaffolding actually makes the space quite, quite narrow and restrictive, so we have to manoeuvre our uh, ourselves around. One of the challenges that I, I have when uh, working with migrant workers is uh, communication because some of them, their command of language is not so good. So uh, I will have to explain to them slowly. But all in all, I will try to make it simple for them. All the hard work paid off when the mural painting was completed. For the mural painting, I try to make it interactive and more interesting. And also and I render the uh, characters and all, all the stuff that are happening in the mural, right? Try to make them life-size so that when people take photos with it, uh, they could pose as part of the painting as well. And also I try to involve some kind of narrative uh, so that when people walk along the whole stretch of wall, there are different uh, story elements happening and they could pose at any part of the mural. and. Um, that way that's more memorable for them and that they can remember the heritage of the area. The Singapore four-year-old challenge series had run its first two legs. With Titanium winning the first leg, the Stewards Cup, and well done winning the second leg, the Patrons Bowl. Well, just who will claim the title of the most anticipated final leg, the Emirates Singapore Derby? Be sure to catch it on the 10th of July. But first, let's take a look at the Patrons Bowl which took place recently. The Patrons Bowl was inaugurated in 1997 in honour of the patrons of the Singapore Turf Club. In 2006, it was elevated to Group 1 status and it became the second leg of the Singapore four-year-old challenge series in 2010. Gates are back, racing in the Patrons Bowl off the inside Aries and also Bring Money Home commence well. Well done and Majestic Moments coming up, but well done, well done indeed. Boss wins for Cock. I'm very happy, you know. With only 20 horses in the stable, I still can win a group one, really. Yeah. Today, the best 
Best stand off, is it? Yeah, listen, I fell in love with this horse the first moment I got on his back. He's just, um, he's got a lot of charisma. He's, um, I said to David, he's just got, um, he's, he's a real intelligent horse. Um, like I said, he's got a lot of charisma in this horse, got a lot of heart, and that takes him a long way. Well done to the well done stable. Trainer David Cobb and winning jockey Glenn Boss. We hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Up? And for racing information, do log on to turfclub.com.sg. Bye! Bye.